Hey, this is OmniXC. We're here with the next walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So we left off in Asgard, and I'm pretty sure we're at the end, potentially, of this chapter of Asgard. But I cannot defeat the wolf as of yet because I am not strong enough. So we are going to we're going to actually wake up now, and we're going to progress into other side quests until we can get our power level to 90. So let's continue our journey. Enjoy the walkthrough, guys.
Give me a hand with this. this. Well said. You have stocks for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But father, you are not too ill to stay. The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. You are lucky. Good warrior. You carry yourself with the spirit of a Drenga. I am a Drenga too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding, or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar? I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile, you could spit and food would grow. Water steaming with fish. I met a Saxon lady. Arthur Squig, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Drenger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed, coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We will show your boy how Drenga do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? 
Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do! We are anger. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, 
Could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course, and your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's send this. I'm at your side.
Ah, uh, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear anything. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! This is grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humble. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Hello, and well... What have you got for me today? You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> good day, good day. What do you have today? I have to go. See you soon. See you later. What is it you do here? If you need... But of course, no shop, no... I'm off. Be well for... See you later here. 